just like to say, very proud of the way our guys played tonight, especially after the first quarter. I thought uh, 36 minutes, we, we've been talking about this the last few days, about on the defensive end, uh, making that third, second and third effort, sticking with our principles. And I thought from you know the second quarter on, we did just that. And we gave ourselves an opportunity uh, to win the game now. Played against a very good basketball team that made some shots. We, we had some, some bad plays on both ends. You know, at the, at the stretch at the end of the game, but I tell you what, I love the effort that our guys had tonight, and that's that's what we're talking about as a team. We got to continue to do that for the rest of the season. Take, take the lead off. Gibson's driveway, and then I think Clyde shots were three. Are you uh, are you are you okay with that? With that shot selection, did you like what they were? Or no, you want well, a, a couple of them were good shots. A couple of them were questionable. Uh, and like I said to the guys. We had climbed ourselves all the way back into the game, and we took a couple of questionable threes um, with four or five seconds, you know, taken off the clock. And when you climb your, yourself back into the game like that, the one thing you want to do on the offensive end, you exert all that energy on the defensive end, is make them work defensively. And I thought we let them off the hook a couple of times with some questionable shots. Uh, but again, like I said, the effort, I can't fault that. The offensive end, we'll continue to work on that. But again, the defensive end is the thing that's my main concern. How'd you think Mel looked? I thought he looked pretty good, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, again, Mo made a couple of decisions that, you know, if he if he had been playing, you know, all season long, that I know he wouldn't have made. Uh, but again, I know that he was excited to be out there. Uh, you know, his heart's in the right place. I thought he played extremely hard, and that's all we can ask. The first part was that just by making shots, or were they so concerned not getting up the middle that they were I think it was a little bit of both. I, I thought they hit some tough shots, but I thought we made some defensive uh, lap. We had some defensive lapses as well. Um, you know, then they got going a little bit. We still challenged shots, and they were still making at that point. You know, you, you got to figure that sooner or later you're going to calm down and you're going to start missing some of those shots. And, and again, like I said, I thought the second quarter we just got much more aggressive on the defensive end, and we're up in them a little bit more, and they started missing some of those shots that they had in the first quarter. What was your reaction? Stressed even so much yesterday, and they shot. 72, they were shooting 72. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> you know, oh, you know what? Uh, you know, what's going on here? But you know, the thing that I told the guys on the bench is they can't keep shooting this way. We just got to get, we, we just got to tighten those, you know, tighten the screws a little bit more, and, and we'll be all right. And that's exactly what happened. You know, in the second quarter, we got much better on the defensive end. In the third quarter, we were much better. In the fourth quarter, we were pretty good. Um, and again, that's what I'm proud of tonight is that you know, we, we could have mailed it in. Uh, you know, 40 to 27 at the end of the first quarter, we could have mailed it in, but our guys kept fighting. And that's the fight that we're going to need for the rest of the season. Talk about J.J. Hickson's play tonight, career high for Hickson. Did a good job. Did a good job. Offensively scored the ball, uh, got to the basket, made his jump shots. Did a real good job. You know, he, he deserved to have one of those type games tonight. Kind of happy with the intensity coming out of the locker room in the third quarter? Much, much better. You know, much better. We didn't wait to uh, see what they were going to do. You know, I, I thought we were aggressive when we started the third quarter, and that's why we got the lead down uh, and got you know ourselves right back into the ball game. So very happy about that, and that's a trend that we're going to have to continue to have as well. All right. Thanks. Thank you.